eclipse and after the solar eclipse on April 8th, things have been hectic and things have been crazy. The world got more chaotic. Time is going fast. A lot of bad things are happening. Businesses are closing. I mean, this was bound to happen because we know this because of COVID, but like a lot of things are happening that are progressing, you know, apocalyptic vibes, apocalyptic feelings, but all the people who are light workers and sensitive and have um, gifts and intuition and knowledge, dreams are more vivid, things are happening at a rapid pace, manifestations quick. Listen to all these people and what they had to say about the after effects of the solar eclipse. Did you know that 40 days after April 8th solar eclipse, it's Pentecost? As if April 8th is not already biblical enough. Okay, let's throw in the fact that 40 days after it, it goes into Pentecost. What is Pentecost? Okay, my understanding, okay, from here, okay, Pentecost is a Christian holiday. It's also a Jewish holiday too, which is the celebration of the church. I think the new building of the church from what I can understand, okay? But it's a Christian holiday in which takes place on the 50th day after Easter Sunday, it commemorates the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Virgin Mary and the apostles of Jesus Christ while they are in Jerusalem celebrating. So hear me, okay? Hear me, okay? What do we have on April 8th, which is the solar eclipse that's creating the X, okay? Which signifies the start of something, right? Yeah, it signifies the baptizing of the Holy Spirit, where then you go into the desert just like Christ did for 40 days. And then what happens when you come out of the 40th day? It celebrates the descent of the Holy Spirit into it's not just mary and and apostles if you're here doing the works of christ you're an apostle okay so this day this is okay everything is biblically aligning now look i want you guys to understand something okay it's not going to be some big magical hoopla thing okay april 8th even though they do have a couple schools that are being closed down for it. why i don't know and they have like coast guard and national guard in some areas of texas and going up the line of this thing why i don't know it's not like we've never had a solar eclipse before but now all of a sudden we need all this protection energetically speaking Huge shifts are happening in the large collective of consciousness, okay? People are realizing that there is a Christ and they're realizing that it's coming. And in doing so, they're opening hearts for it to come. And then all of these alignments are taking place. April 8th is a solar eclipse. You are energy, okay? So solar eclipse affects your energetic field. So 40 days after this huge energetic field that people are going to go through, now the descent of the Holy Spirit unto God's people will happen on Pentecost. 40 days after the April 8th solar eclipse biblical event. Now do you get why they wanted to ban TikTok? Oh, hey, by the way, next episode is going to tell you exactly who started the ban in the first place and who he is involved with. And I have to be cryptic because I now realize who's in control and you can't say things because they is or is not real, okay? Okay are in cahoots with the very first man to push the bill to begin with, okay? Why? Because this consolidation of power is the rise of Christ here on TikTok. Do you see it yet? You can feel in the air, can't you? Like everything's different, something's changed. Like we're in a whole new day, a whole new world, a whole new era. Feels like we made a huge shift, because we did. At this moment, you're one out of three people. Number one, you're very emotional and very full of energy. Especially during and after, you could just feel your whole body buzzing and all these emotions are going through you and you feel very rejuvenated like a whole new being full of all this energy. If this is you, you've gotten deeper into the etheric plane, which is all energy, emotions, things like that. You are literally a whole new being, a clean slate. You have all this energy, you feel brand new. Now it's time to live a brand new life that you want. Use this energy how you want to. Build the life you want now. Number two, you're an empath. Your head's hurting and you could feel all this energy flowing through your body before, during and after. And you feel really tired now. Your third eye is going to be hurting a lot because it was overactive with all the intensity of energy all around. So it's kind of sore and expect that your clairs are going to be stronger 
Your sensitivity is going to be way stronger than usual now. Especially your third eye a little more active than usual because you've gotten all this electromagnetic energy and information from what happened in which we commonly call downloads and now you got to process all of it. If this is you, you are rooting further in 5D consciousness, which is the soul level of existence. Keep it up. It kind of hurts, but look how stronger you are. Look how much more awareness you got. Number three, you're awakening spiritually. This will actually be most on the planet right now where they're becoming more aware of the astral realm or the spirit realm and they're starting to have spiritual experiences and they're starting to become more aware of this level and understand it through experience. A lot of you will think you crazy but don't worry the starseeds got you. If this is you right now you are gaining fourth dimensional consciousness or more awareness of the astral level of existence. The eclipse is a symbolism of a brand new era for Earth, a brand new day. That's why it feels like everything's different. Most importantly, we're all in a new phase of ourselves. Now is the time to tap into the new energies you want to and start the new life you want to. Everything is fresh, clean slate. Expect more events of truth, meaning more stuff about the truth, the full truth of everything coming out. All the things that were put in the dark before are coming to light and everybody's going to start becoming more spiritual, you could say, more in touch with themselves and each other. It's a new world, bro. It's a new day thanks to the eclipse and now it's time to get the show on the road.